Welcome back. Bar six left us off with a first finger on the D string. Bar seven here is gonna start off with third finger on the D string. The nice accented down bow. And then our two throwaway notes are gonna be open A, one A. And then we're gonna have an accented one A to start this next three pack. And then our two thro throwaway notes are going to be low two on E and open E. All right, so the first three pack of bar seven again is 3D, open A, 1A. And the second three pack is 1A, low two E, open E. And then bar eight is so super satisfying. It starts off with one and three on A, and we're gonna play a nice accent on this three A. And then the next two notes are gonna go into a slur, and it's just one O. So that whole three pack is. It comes out super nice and neat to let us land on a nice long quarter note on A, to finish off this part. So that's actually a two pulse note that takes two out of the three. And the third one is a little pickup note that's three A. And that's gonna put us on a really nice foot to then repeat the A part. And so on. So bars seven and eight together sound like this. moment here to get that part under your fingers whether you prefer to look at the sheet music for a little bit of help um, do try it's a, it's a short enough part so if you've been looking at the sheet try to get it off the sheet with just those two bars before giving into the temptation to play the whole a part so you could do that right now Welcome back. Now let's just do a pyramid down exercise where we work on without a click or anything um, just on going 3-1-0. Oh. It's kind of like our waterfalls, but now we have kind of a cool bowing going, which I think could also work really well in a blues style solo in an Americana song. So I think this would be fun to practice, and it also might be fun to do something that I hardly ever suggest, but is, that is occasionally uh, kind of fun to do, which is just kind of increase tempo as you go. Um, it's usually not a good idea because it creates the habit of speeding up, Usually you want to just stay at one tempo and then really deliberately change to the next. But for this, this could be a little bit of fun just to kind of see how quickly you can get it going while still maintaining good intonation. So. Something like that. If you wanted to be more disciplined, you certainly could put that on a click as an actual acceleration exercise. Let's build our frame one more time. And then I'll leave you off with one more example of what bar seven and eight sound like together. Oh, and then our pickup note. One of the main reasons that I drilled this little slur here is that that can kind of catch you off guard since it's the only slur in this whole piece. And if you forget it, then it does kind of get your bow around on the wrong foot. So take, take another moment to practice that slur a little bit to kind of get that on autopilot after you sleep tonight. And tomorrow is the first time that we'll be working on putting all of this together. 